Hey, I'm Donna Baxter. And this is your girl, Tarina Hicks. And this is Soul Pit Extra. And we are on location right here at Mexico, Mexico City. Yes. And we are going to get our grub on. But first, we got to wait for our girl, Cece Fernandez. She's going to be through. We're going to have some Mexican food and have a nice time. Girl, can you smell the food? Mm hmm. Aren't you ready to get your I'm grub I'm ready on? to get my grub on. Yeah, you in my way. Move. Peace. <laughs> Hey, pasta, Cece. Hey, ladies, how are you? We be in. You show off. So, <laughs> she's learning a little Spanish. I so, I haven't seen you ladies since the last time you came to La Rumba. I know. Glad, glad to see you again. Well, I'm glad you found the place. Are you mm -hmm. ready to eat? Yes. I think I saw the owner walking around here, so do you want to walk over and see if we can find him? Yes. Let's do that. Oh, I want to get my grub on. Primo's still not here, but I'm sure we'll find him here grubbing on something later on. So, do you want to head out? Okay. Yes, that well, works. Let's go. Let's go. Well, this is Agustin Garcia, ladies. He's the owner of Mexico City. Hello, Hello. ladies. Welcome to Mexico City. Thank My name is Agustin Garcia. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we were talking about the Hispanic influence in the Pittsburgh area. So first, can you please tell us how long you've been in the area? Uh, Pittsburgh for 12 years. 12 I'm years. I've been in 12 wow. years, yes. And how are, how is the Hispanic community in Pittsburgh since then? I mean, it's changed a lot. Uh, it has, it has changed a lot. I remember 10 years ago, it was hard for me to see uh, Latino people working, a uh, person working on the street. And now you can see it more often. You walk around, you see somebody speaking Spanish. You're speaking like, oh. Spanish, right? <laughs> you and speak you, my language. And, and, and you see more now, like a more priority of people speaking Spanish. Also, it's not just Latinos, and you really get like, wow, that, that's nice. It feels good, you know. The other people are like using our language too. See, so, right? See, see. Exactly. And then when La Rumba started, we were using some of the resources from Mexico City. So I mean, it's definitely growing. It is, He's it one is. of our listeners. Okay. Yeah, of course. It is It is growing. I mean, like I say, 10 years ago, it was hard to find somebody. Now, we have our music Wednesday nights, Saturday nights, and we have, you know, we always have a lot of people, and it's great. So it, it has changed a lot. Wow. So yeah. when did Mexico City open? We uh, start the first uh, restaurant that we have is on Smithfield Street, and we started that one six years ago. Six years? Six years ago. So that was the first uh, restaurant that we opened. That's right. How long has this one been opening? Downtown? This one, uh, almost two years. Almost Good two turnout. years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, both are in uh, downtown. We moved from a small location to this one, which is bigger. And uh, yeah, it has been pretty good. That means years. the demand is growing, ladies. Yes. So yes. if it's now is they're dos? expanding, dos exactly. <laughs> uh, that means people, you need to go out there, check it out. There's plenty of restaurants out there, but Mexico City is my favorite. So, <laughs> but. So we need your help. We're deciding okay. what to order. Yes. Now, oh, really? Well, I can help you with that. Why don't we uh, go to the kitchen? And oh, we're we're that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Hey, let's, let's go. go. Come on, let's go. Bienvenida. So this is like La Rumba live from Mexico City's kitchen. Uh -huh. right. right? So we got Primo here. That's right. Finally. You know, dicing up some tomatoes for my boy Agustin. Que está por acá, en el Primo, I need some tomatoes. I got you. Ya voy, ya voy, ya voy, hermano. Are you going to take our order? We'll take your order. Just um, give me one sec. <laughs> I don't trust this cooking. It the smells way. delicious. It's it absolutely yeah. divine. Oh, my yeah, it smells good, right? Yeah. Oh, the food here is phenomenal. See, but that's not what you're cooking. No. I love you. You're this is exactly what we do every day on the show, so don't miss it. It's pretty funny. So, ladies, why don't we head out to see what the chef is doing? Okay. Yeah? Oh, yeah and let's leave Anton Primo doing whatever he's doing here. Oh, come too. Well, hey, good morning. What you got cooking? My food. Um, some, some chicken fajitas and some poblano pepper, right? Chicken fajitas will use some tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, green peppers and onions, right? And for poblano pepper, uh, it's a poblano pepper, it's just like a green pepper. But so no spicy. pica, right? No, no pica, no, no pica. No pica, because a mí no me puede picar. No, no okay. pica, lleva queso, lleva huevo. Can't have spices. Eggs and cheese, that's not spicy at all, right? <laughs> so and tomatoes. Tomatoes. And tomatoes. And tomatoes that my primo just <laughs> got me, so... So those are the tomatoes that Primo sliced? Yeah, that, these are the tomatoes Primo sliced, yeah. They might have a little bit of finger in there. <laughs> I'm just joking, the food here is really good. 
When Primo's not in the kitchen. Agustin, these are the, the tomatoes with pepper for Cece. All right. Cuánto amor, cuánto me quiere. So, you know, ladies, this is Mexican food. Dominican Republic, Primo and I are from. We don't really have a main dish to be called fajitas, which is what he's making. So if you were to ask me how to make fajitas, you will have no luck. That's yeah, because in, ev in every country Stop. we uh, we cook differently. So, That's because you know. Uh, like I say, we use uh, peppers, tomatoes, and onions. I don't know what you, they use, but this is a really traditional dish in Mexico. So. Wow. That's it. Who's gonna eat that? You're you're fajitas, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Cool. See. Sí. Okay. Well, gracias por enseñarnos how to make fajitas. De nada. Eh, how to make fajitas. We'll out in like two seconds, right? Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Right, well let's head out. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need a seat. Out of my kitchen. I got to get to my table. I got some peppers for you. That's what you want. Don't like peppers. Hey, this is Donna Baxter. And Tarina Hicks from Soul Pit Extra. And this is Cece. And Primo. De La Ruma, Pittsburgh. That's right, mi gente, ya estamos, ya se ve el food, right? Hey, y'all have seen the restaurant, and you've seen the kitchen. Now you gotta go. Adios.